Hello, it's Sean. I have decided that I'm going to try my hand at some Modern Warfare games. I picked up a copy of Team Yankee. Uh, I don't want to play it in 15 millimeter scale because the it just the ranges don't make sense on a 4x6 table to me. Kudos to folks that want to play it that way, but I think I'm going to use 6 millimeter miniatures for it on a 4x6 table and it'll make a little bit more sense. Probably just play it as is, all the ranges and everything as, as it's listed, but with six millimeter models instead. I also picked up a copy of Cold War Commander, uh, which is kind of an independently published game, and I might try those rules out as well. Uh, those actually look really interesting to me. I've played Future War Commander with some of my epic models, and so I've got a little bit of familiarity with the, that rule set. So, I picked up this GHQ box. Uh, it's a combat command box. This is kind of a, a group uh, of models. Um, and I, uh, this will be my US force for the Cold War Gone Hot kind of thing. Uh, the tanks are pretty accurate. I don't think Humvees would have been uh, real in place in the mid 80s, but I'm not 100% certain. I've got to figure that out a little bit. But the M1, a M1A2 Abrams are the tanks that uh, are used so those are all good so I thought I'd do a little bit of an unboxing video for this uh, I got this off of eBay and I think the list price for this is about $50 and it comes with uh, 20 vehicles I believe so we have already cut the wrap off of it so let's see what we got inside So first up, we got the GHQ Miniature Gaming Sourcebook. So this looks like a catalog, uh, variety of product. It's got some color pictures of the models, which is nice. So GHQ, if you're not familiar with them, they have some very nice looking models. Uh, they do World War II. They do uh, modern combat looks like they do age of sail uh, ships uh, there's a little painting guide in here which is kind of nice looks like they do some older stuff as well so there's field artillery and some print army stuff more painting guides for this 10 millimeter Train maker buildings. I guess they have some buildings as well. So, nice little book. Oh, some information on making train. And an order form on the back. Which, if you're ordering that way, you're probably not watching this video. <laughs> uh, we've got Modern Micro Armor Tanks Game. A beer and pretzels game for the arm of decision. So that's nice, nice little set of rules in here. It's uh, what looks like eight pages with charts and stuff. So uh, pretty. It says beer and pretzels, so hopefully it's not very complicated. Uh, I haven't read these, so I'm not sure what all they entail. Maybe I'll look at these as another option for uh, uh, my gaming in the modern uh, era. A modern US tank company this is the box that I got so it kind of shows how the that force is broken down shows that your command company HQ has got two tanks two MVs and a truck the first platoon has got four main battle tanks second platoon is four main battle tanks third platoon is four main battle tanks and then you've got a couple of tracked vehicles and the uh, armored recovery vehicle gives a painting guide on here tells you the colors you need the tools you need to uh, do it so that's again kind of a nice little feature if you haven't done this kind of gaming uh, or painted any of the models for this kind of thing it's uh, nice to have a place to start piece of foam and it comes with the bunker box this is a storage box for the army or for the models that are in here uh, so let's see what we got talks about the uh, 
foam that's in the box and how you can trim it to make it fit the models that you've got in here. And then we've got the models. This is the exciting part. So it looks like we got four baggies. And this is the storage tray. You can see you've got spaces in here for the models. So you pluck that out and that's not really big enough for the model, but you can trim it bigger uh, for the, the models that you have. Which is nice because then you don't have to worry about the little models like this little little truck here fitting in there uh, and wiggling all around when the spaces are cut out for big ones so lets you trim it to fit so that's kind of nice and then a piece of foam that goes on the bottom so your models aren't just sitting on the plastic this is not all the way to the top and the idea is to give you space for aerials and stuff on your vehicles um, so it's nice for transporting your models but don't ever flip this over because your models are going to go awry i actually will be basing my models like this and this is a uh, a metal base so i will have a magnetic tray uh, that these are placed on for transporting them so it's not quite as big of a deal this is a GHQ T55 tank, which hopefully you'll see a video of soon of how I painted it. Uh, I went with a little bit bigger base than the tank just because I wanted to protect those barrels, uh, make sure that they didn't get bent up and broken off all the time. So anyway, let's look at some of these models here. So this bag has the M1 a2 Abrams tank the body for those see there's 14 of those tanks in here we have two Humvees an M35 truck an M88 armored reconna reconnaissance vehicle um, an M113 track and an M577 track so get out a turret that goes with this tank and we'll take a look at it all right so sorry if there's a little bit of a glare here so I've heard people say they don't like playing six millimeter because the models just aren't very detailed looking at these models I don't think it's a very good argument. I mean, there's a lot of detail on this for it being as small as it is. Uh, I'm actually really excited about playing some games with these guys. I think it'll be a lot of fun. So there's not a lot of flash on these. I don't hardly see any at all, actually. Maybe a little bit on the tip of the barrel. But yeah, they're detailed very nicely. Uh, not a lot of cleaning up to do. I'm going to go with the uh, uh, Cold War Gone Hot kind of idea for my stuff. So these are going to get painted uh, for a 1985-ish period. So they'll uh, probably, I don't think I'm going to go with that NATO camo scheme. I don't remember what it's called with the, the multiple colors. I'm going to go with uh, just a an OD green kind of thing and dirty it up a little maybe uh, let's see what else do we got in here we got a bunch of these little tiny machine guns I'm sure there's people that attach these to their models I don't think I'm going to be one of those people they're just too small which is fine whatever anybody wants to do that's cool but you got a lot of those uh, let's look at these little vehicles or smaller vehicles some of these barrels on the turrets are a little bent but I don't think that'll be hard to straighten them out just a little a little push and a shove here and they'll be just fine
So we got a truck that comes in two pieces. You got the chassis and then the body. That'll be easy enough to put together. I'd imagine that vehicle is probably the same since World War II. You do have a mold line there, you see. One, well, I don't think when you paint it, it'll be that noticeable. Uh, some people will probably file it down, but uh, maybe I will. We'll see. Got a little half track. Or not a half track, it's a track. Uh, I don't know which one this is. It's probably the M577. Again, you can see the mold lines on the side. And that, because it's a nice big flat piece of metal, I'll probably will trim those down, file them down, whatever, to get rid of them. But this is, again, pretty detailed. You can see all the different stuff on the top. Uh, which looks nice. I think these are good looking vehicles. It's got a little tarp on the back of it there. It's kind of neat. Got a couple of little Humvees. Again, pretty good detail. Even the undercarriage is done, which is kind of crazy. So if you want a couple turned over, uh, the bottom's already detailed. <laughs> Silly. And then we've got a recovery vehicle. And I don't know, that's a piece that goes on there somewhere. A tow hook. But again, looks nice. Nicely detailed. I think these will paint up very nicely. Uh, so that's, oh, let's see. One more. This is the uh, M113. So the mold lines on this one are probably the worst out of all of them because they've they're along some detail on this guy that mold line is on a flat surface so it'll be easy to clean up uh, this one will be a little bit tougher you see that mold line straight across there but I just don't think it'll be too bad and again it's an interesting looking model and nice little turret and turret for it to clean out that hole. Turret doesn't fit as is. Uh, but looks good. I'm looking forward to uh, getting these painted, playing some games, and uh, we'll see how they how they work. I might try their rules, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna Cold War Commander and then Team Yankee will be the ones that I'm gonna focus on most. At least to start with see which one I like best um, well that was an unboxing of the combat command for the modern US tank company M1A2s uh, there's 20 models in the box and they look really nice so thanks for watching and you can uh, comment below if you have any questions I'll try to answer them and you can give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thanks for watching Hello, it's Sean. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of a GHQ. Uh... Hello, it's Sean.